Hey, we're here with Stanton Lee today, and we are actually at IPPE. Oh, Lord, this place is huge. But anyway, um, Ag Lighting has Ag a booth set up here. Yep. And um, so Stanton took a little time. I'd also do some other shows with Stanton around, so I was like, hey, let's do a video. But we're going to talk about lighting today. So, Stanton, thanks yeah, for being here. Absolutely. Thank you. Tell me, I think growers sometimes don't really think about maybe lighting or all the impacts what, right why why should we think about yeah lighting? You, uniform coverage so we look at our backdrop here a little bit it's kind of hard to see maybe but it's uniform and so you've got you've got a broad coverage of light so a normal light bulb covers 140 square foot okay ours covers about 350 so, so a lot broader more than double yeah a lot brighter and it's a lot brighter light okay so it's just a, a lot more uniform coverage that's one thing then that helps out with animals finding feed faster, sure. feeding yep. water, right? Yep. Which is important for livability. Absolutely. You know, weight gain. So there's that's benefits of light. It's, okay. it, it's all about getting the bird a healthy start. But you also, another advantage is maybe with savings, electricity, energy power, savings. Energy yeah. savings. Yeah, especially. What I expect? Well, so I've got some farmers that have, you know, if they're still an incandescent for whatever reason, yeah. it doesn't happen often anymore. But there's drastic savings. I mean, I, I had I actually had a farmer uh, that was using high pressure sodiums that told me his power bill is four hundred dollars or less a month going really? from high pressure sodium. Yeah, because from high because he has he has four houses, four to six houses on that. Oh so, man. Yeah, so big power savings for him. But just in general, you can dim these a lot down, okay. down a lot further. So it's versatile in that yeah. respect too. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. Dimmable. Absolutely. Dimmable, waterproof. Okay. So They're flat. Yeah. Pose them down. Pose them down. Yep. Okay. And these, our light is, is only about an inch tall. It's a six inch disc, basically. Okay. About an inch tall. Okay. So it mounts directly up to a box. So it's not, you don't hit it with your head oh, or, yeah. or a ladder when you're walking through the house. So it, it's just a lot of versatility there. I mean, I, I mean, in my mind, I'm thinking the whole idea when they put out more pans when they're little so that you have more access. Right. The fact is, if you got light, you're going to be able to get there. They're going to okay. move around, yeah. Okay. So uh, let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of lighting going on these days. So yeah. why are you guys different? What can you do? We're di So we're different because ours is a fixture. It's okay. a light fixture, whereas a, a light bulb isn't really designed to hold heat as much as produced from a light bulb. You know, incandescent had a filament tube in it and the power was passed through that and that's how it was lit up originally it wasn't designed to have all the components in it so okay. our light is flat all the components are around the center and the leds are on the outside okay so the leds don't get overheated okay and that allows you know a standard light bulb loses 15 percent brightness a year and our light loses right at two percent brightness wow. a year yeah what would you project like the length of a it's about fixture. 10 years, about really? 10 years, yeah. We, 10 have, years. we offer a five-year warranty, Okay. but it, it has a 50,000 hour life. 50,000 hour life. So what you're telling me is you don't have a fixture you're screwing into, you mount this thing. Right to the junction box. Is that something the grower does? Is that something y'all come in and do? Is that something easy? Grower, to... equipment supplier. Anybody. It's easy. Yeah, there's a pigtail that comes with the light, wire it in. It uses the same screws that your keyless fixture used. Sure. And and then you're good to go. It's on there. A couple go. minutes. Okay. Yeah. So if you're spreading more light, you're not gonna have to add any half outlets. As, right. You're gonna have what? Half? Half as many lights. Oh, wow. Half as many lights. This this house, for instance, was on ten foot centers. Okay. And they were getting less than four foot candles. Yeah. We put them on twenty foot centers without a brood separate brood lights. And now they get over six foot candles. Wow. Yeah. So, so less lights. That actually is even, it's not like you got to redo every fixture in the house. No. Like every 20 feet. Every 20 feet. Deal. Yep. And you don't have to have separate brood lights. Cool. Ours go in the whole house, 20 foot spacing. So if a grower says, boy, that sounds good. I'm, we're going to post your information here, but yeah. is this something they just buy straight from you? Do they have to go through the integrator to get approval? Or they, how does that work? Sometimes it does, but but there's several different integrators that we're already on spec okay. well, for. I figured you probably were. Yeah, yeah. So so that's a benefit. Now, if we sell through a distributor network, and that, but most every equipment provider has okay. these. So they can actually come and, and you'll direct them who's in their area. That's right. Yep. Yeah. They go to our website, navigate to the poultrylights.com. Okay. 
um, they can call our, our um, office phone, 615-378-0108. Okay. Um, or they can just go down to their equipment provider and say, do you have the ag light? No. Cool. That's easy enough right easy there. Easy enough. So, yeah. Well, Stanton, thanks for taking thanks the time you, with us. And uh, thanks for watching. If there's anything we can do for you, let me know. Alan at southlandorganics.com or 1-800-608-3755. Till next time.